okay uh, let's discuss our uh, very simple example so how we can uh, use this ideal diode model and simplified diode model and what's the difference of applying these two models and uh, how would be the output of this uh, particular circuit so depending on the uh, model which we are uh, applying so so we basically uh, consider this very simple circuit so we have a kind of a diode and a kind of a resistor here so this is the load resistance and so we are applying kind of a sinusoidal input v in so which is actually equals to this so it's a kind of a pure sinusoidal signal so this is actually uh, the uh, peak voltage is vm so input would, would be like vi equals vm sine omega t kind of and the output is simply across the load resistance so we basically uh, fed a kind of a sinusoidal input which is uh, in line with vm sine omega t and the circuit is basically having a simple rectifier diode and a load resistor after and we basically take the output across the load so the uh, objective is to uh, obtain or find the output voltage v out so, uh, so we'll first apply or use this ideal model. So we will use the ideal model first and try to get the output for the uh, circuit. So we know that if the diode is ideal, so if the diode is ideal, so these are the conditions we need to maintain to make it forward bias and reverse bias. If the diode is ideal, so the applied voltage across the diode would be greater than or equal to zero to make it forward bias. So if the applied voltage is less than zero, so we can uh, assume that the diode is in reverse bias region if the diode is in forward bias region so we can simply replace the diode with a short circuit element so if it is in the reverse region we can simply replace the diode with the open circuit element so this is the uh, briefing of the ideal model so let's assume now this d is d is an ideal diode so this is the assumption so if this diode is ideal so uh, we can use these uh, conditions to verify whether the diode is in forward bias or reverse bias okay so to uh, find the actual voltage appear across the diode so we can uh, perform very simple mechanism first now find the actual voltage actual voltage across the diode so first remove the diode from the circuit and find the open circuit voltage across the terminals 
so how do you find the uh, actual voltage across the diode is so first we remove this diode from the circuit and then find the open circuit voltage across the two terminal so see now i remove the diode so we have kind of a sinusoidal input and this is the uh, place where we remove the diode so actually there is a diode here but we need to find the actual voltage of here across the diode first we remove the diode from the circuit and find the open circuit voltage across the diode, diode terminal so basically we have a diode here so we have diode here so this is plus this is minus actually minus so uh, to find the actual voltage appear across the diode we first remove the diode from the circuit and find the open circuit voltage across the diode so once you remove the diode from the circuit so we know that there won't be any current flow through the network because so this is simply open so from this we can claim that the uh, open circuit voltage is exactly equals to the input voltage because once you apply the curve of voltage so there won't be any voltage drop across the resistor because no current flow through the resistor so the input voltage is simply equals to the open circuit voltage so then open circuit voltage which we need to find it here is exactly equals to the input voltage so this open circuit voltage is the actual voltage across the diode so this is the actual voltage across the diode so this is actual voltage across the diode so then we know that the voltage across the diode is equal to the input again we know that the input is a kind of a time varying signal so during this positive cycle so we have a certain voltage appear across this uh, two terminals so input terminal so once uh, the uh, once we refer the negative cycle so this is the negative cycle and this is the positive cycle so during the negative cycle so we are applying a kind of a voltage across the input terminal in the reverse direction so depending on the polarity of these cycles so we are applying either positive voltage to the circuit or a negative voltage to the circuit so it means like the voltage across the diode is equal to input voltage and input voltage is simply very depend on the polarity of the uh, waveform so if it is a positive uh, half cycle so that is basically uh, phase into a positive voltage if the input is having the negative values if we are referring this negative cycle so this then the voltage drop across the diode would be simply negative so but we know that the actual voltage up here across the diode is the input voltage so from this one we can simply claim that if vi is greater than or equal to zero we can simply claim that that is in forward bias wave if you vi is less than zero we can simply consider that diode is in reverse bias okay so see what happens now this is your input so this is your input so i just take a single cycle of the sinusoid so we n it's minus v n so see so during this portion during this portion your input voltage is greater than or equals to zero because the value of the voltage is simply zero or above 
so this is a positive voltage so then during this half cycle the input voltage is simply greater than or equals to zero so then what happens so what then the uh, voltage across the diode would be greater than or equals to zero so then we can simply claim that during this period during this period the diode in the circuit is simply O O forward bias because we are applying a positive voltage or, the, or a kind of a voltage which is equal or greater than zero so what happens during this so during this period the voltage appear across the diode is simply a kind of a negative value which is actually less than zero so your input is less than zero to make this diode reverse bias you have to make a negative voltage across the diode so during this when your input is less than zero your the actual voltage appear across the diode is negative and during this half cycle or the during this negative half so diode is actually off or in reverse bias okay so then we, we initially we identify the actual voltage appear across the diode when the diode is an ideal one so then based on the applied voltage across the diode we simply identify when and where this diode get forward bias and reverse bias so then we basically identify uh, the regions of this diode's on and off modes so where are those diodes on and off modes so forward or reverse bias so once we identify this so we can analyze the circuit so how do you analyze the circuit? So we know that if the input is greater than or equal to zero diode is in forward region. So then we can replace the diode with the short circuit element because this is an ideal diode. So then we can simply short circuit the diode. And we have a resistor here. And we have a sign circle input here. V I. So you have load, and this is your output. So what about output? So output is simply equals to the input because now this input is simply apply across the load resistor, and we are measuring the output as gain across the load resistor so the output would be exactly equals to input okay so we'll draw it so now we know that this is the input cycle so this is your input and then we identify the regions where this that's on and off during this that is forward bias and during this that is reverse bias so then uh, once this that get forward bias we know that the output is exactly equals to input so then output is exactly equals to input so it's simply following the input circuit so this is now yeah. so then we know, once this vi is less than zero we know that the circuit is in reverse bias oh. so then we, we basically identify the region where we start get reverse bias so we can uh, simply uh, simplify the circuit by assuming this uh, ideal diode model so now you can simply replace the diode with the open circuit model because it's in reverse bias region so again you have a kind of sign circuit input so we basically measure the output across the load resistor so what happens now if this the circuit is open at here so then there won't be any input voltage appear across the load no current flow through the load resistance and the output be simply zero 
so when this diode is reversed bias so we know that the output across the uh, output voltage across the load resistance will be zero so then you can simply go so this is your output okay so how do you find this so this is the simple step first you need to find the find the actual voltage across the diode so how do you find the actual voltage remove the diode from the circuit and find the open circuit voltage across the terminals so we can remove the circuit uh, diode from the circuit and find the open circuit voltage across the time so this is the actual voltage appear across the diode open circuit voltage is the actual voltage appear across the diode so then based on this voltage so we can depending on the model depending on the model depends on the model so if so we can identify the uh, region where this diode is forward bias and reverse bias so if it is an ideal diode we know that the voltage vd so if it is ideal if the diode is ideal we can simply say that vd should be greater than or equal to zero vd less than zero these are the uh, conditions that circuit should maintain to make this diode forward bias and make this diode reverse bias so once you find the regions where this diode gets forward bias and reverse bias then apply the uh, model and simplify the circuit so we know that when the diode is forward bus, we can simply replace the ideal diode with a kind of a short circuit element. If it is for a reverse bus, we know that we can simply remove the ideal diode with the open circuit element. So then we simply re replace the diode with either short circuit or for um, open circuit element. Uh, you uh, depending on the forward or reverse bus situation, then. solve the circuit to find the out so it's very simple so we'll now take the same circuit and see whether so we'll take the same circuit and we'll see with uh, that what happens if we apply the simplified model so we have sign cycle signal vi diode so now we know that to make this so first we need to find the actual voltage across the diode so from the previous we can simply say that the voltage drop across the diode would be simply equals to the input this is the actual voltage appear across the diode so then so we know that if we are assuming that the diode is following the simplified model so we can simply say that if the diode is following the simplified model we know that the voltage drop across the diode should be greater than or equals to the knee voltage to make it forward bias and if the voltage drop across the diode is less than vk we can simply claim that diode should be in reverse bias region okay so then we apply 
so this is the uh, condition where that uh, this diode should meet to make it forward bias or reverse bias so then here we plug this diode to a kind of a circuit so then we need to find a condition to make the circuit make to make this diode forward bias which actually comes from the circuit level so we need to find a circuit level constraint or condition to make this diode forward bias so this is the condition where if we uh, consider the diode only so these are the two conditions uh, which which the diode need to satisfy to make it forward bias or reverse bias once if we consider a kind of a complex circuit so we need to find the condition where that particular circuit should meet to make this diode forward bias or reverse bias so now we need to find the condition that particular circuit should meet to make this diode forward bias and reverse bias so from the circuit we know that the actual voltage across the diode is equals to input so once we plug it into here we can claim that so the circuit should maintain the following condition to make this diode forward bias so what is the condition to make this diode forward bias so the vd is now vi so vi input voltage should be greater than or equals to vk to make this diode forward bias to make this diode forward bias your input voltage should be greater than or equals to vk to make it reverse bias to make the diode reverse bias that circuit should satisfy this condition u v i should less than v k so we this is the condition that diode need to satisfy to make it forward bias and reverse bias at the same time once you plug this diode to the circuit there is a kind of a different condition or constraint to make this diode forward bias and reverse bias so here we find the the those condition that particular circuit needs to satisfy to make this diode forward or reverse so now we identify if this diode is forward bias your input should be greater than or equals to vk so to make this diode reverse you need to keep your input less than vk so now so we'll draw the input signal so this is your input So then we need to uh, so this decision is simply depend on the value of vk so vk is the new voltage of the diode for example if it is a silicon uh, diode so it should be like 0 0.7 volt if it is a germane it's 0.3 let's assume that the new voltage is vk so this is your vk so this height is actually vk this is your new voltage so now so once you draw the vk on top of this input we can easily identify these regions so this is the region this is the region where your input this is your input this is your input so this is the region where your input is greater than vk so during this period your input is greater than vk so it means this particular diode should be forward bias okay so once your input is less than vk so we know that diode should be reverse bias so then from the this region so diode should be reverse bias and during this region as well your input is less than we can that should be reverse bias so we basically identify the regions 
for a fundamental cycle. So these are the regions where dot get forward and reverse bars. Okay, now we identify the uh, the uh, I mean the uh, states of the diode when this input is above and less than vk so depending on that we simply identify whether the diode is forward or reverse so then we'll analyze the circuit for these two different states when the diode is forward bias so we can simply replace this diode with a kind of a fixed dc source of vk so this is your input so this is your vk because now we are applying simplified model we know that if the diode is forward bias in the simplified model we can simply replace the diode with the fixed dc source of vk so this is your so v out should be now this is your input so once you apply curve of voltage low we can simply say that the output is equals to input minus vk So this is for the forward pass case. Similarly, for the reverse bias case, so we can replace the diode with open circuit model. So this is your input. So this is open because this diode is reverse, this is load, this is your output. So V out is simply zero because this is open side. So then we can draw the output. This is your input voltage. Okay. So this is your VK. This is VK the new voltage so these are the regions where this during this region the out gets forward bias because your input voltage is greater than vk so from here to here reverse bias and during this small period also the out gets reverse bias so then we analyze the uh, circuit so when the dot gets forward bias the input voltage is equals to sorry and the output voltage during this forward bus v out is equals to v i minus v k okay so we know that during this your input is actually vary from vk your input is vary from vk to vm and then drops again to vk so vk to vm and again vm to vk so then v out is simply varies from so once vi is vk you have zero volt and once this vi reach to vm it's maximum then it goes to vm minus vk and again it's the zero so it means this is basically like this starting from zero and again comes to zero and the maximum is like this so the maximum this maximum is actually vm minus vk and during this reverse region it's something like that and during this reverse region it's something like that so this is the difference so if it is a kind of ideal model so you will see this kind of a waveform if it is a simplified model you will see this kind of output
so it's kind of having this offset due to this knee voltage so this is the difference between the model which we are using if it is a ideal diode model you can see a kind of the entire positive cycle is uh, entire negative cycle is clipped by the diode entire negative cycle but if you apply the diode if you apply the simplified model to the diode then in addition to the neg negative cycle so we may have a certain parts of the positive cycles also clipped like here so the, during this block it's clipped and during this block it's clipped in addition to the negative cycle so this is the simple difference between the difference when we are applying ideal diode model and simplified diode model. keep in mind so depending on the model which we are applying so whatever the output should be completely different so that's why i emphasize that you need to clearly mention that what the model which you are using for the calculation so if you are not clearly uh, state the uh, it has assumption so then the output would be completely illogical so if you stick into ideal or simplify so then and pro follow the procedures which i explained here to get the output so otherwise the whatever the output you obtain here is completely invalid so you have to stick into the model then find the actual voltage across the down by simply removing the down and find the open circuit voltage then based on the actual voltage appear across the diode you can easily find whether the diode is forward or reverse so then you can easily identify the uh, the condition that particular circuit should maintain to make this diode forward and reverse so then identify those regions and analyze the circuit separately for when the diode is forward and when the diode is reverse so then you can easily get the expression for the output